right, good day and welcome to episode seven of my solo eco. Uh, I, I pretty well am pretty well have, have started up where I left off the last time. There's nothing really new, so uh, not really much new to show you. But uh, I was just informed by Pam, and look at that, isn't it? There's some of the lighting in this game is really nice. It, right now I can see uh, your building, Pam, and there's the sun is sort of rising behind it, and there's mm -hmm. then there's the sun shafts, and it looks really cool. All yeah, right, the sun shafts are really pretty. I like them. Yeah. yeah. So I've back to the kit, the the um, task at hand. Pam was just telling me that she just finished making. In Pam's kitchen, Pam's restaurant. restaurant, campfire stew, campfire stew, and camp Pam is um, I don't know, are you a, an ingredient of the campfire stew, Pam? No, I don't. Because <laughs> you know you're standing in the fire, right? Yeah, apparently uh, you can't catch yourself on fire at this point. You can or can't? You can. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. So she's saying I, I I've got to try the campfire stew. Now, uh, she just was explaining to me. The campfire stew is uh, a is very good because it has it's balanced. It has the carbs, protein, fat, and vitamins apparently in the correct ratio, or close to the correct, or ratio. close at least close to the correct ratio. So we're gonna see what happens when I um, when I oh I don't know if I can eat this. It's uh, I can't. It's a thousand calories, and I have oh you're not hungry enough. Not yet. hungry enough yet. So. I'm going to starve myself. And, By doing uh, hard work, you should be able to come back and do it. Yes, I am going to go and demonstrate how I get sand, because uh, it's similar to the to the method, the the common method for gathering wood. But you'll you'll see in a sec. So uh, I'll describe it, and you'll 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 know what I'm talking about, Pam. But okay. uh, and then I'll come back and and I'll get some of that lovely campfire stew. So, sand, right. I discussed it a little bit in the last episode. Uh, in order to make mortared pitch, mortar pitch, mortaring pitch, whatever it's called, uh, you need sand. Now, I don't entirely like it. I, I know I'm on the side of destroying the world, but I'm, I'm not really. <laughs> That's not really my nature. But <laughs> anyways, it's but it is it's fun. <laughs> so my concern about that whole thing is this is the beach. This gap in the beach exists because I was already getting sand here. So yeah, and you can't get sand from underwater. You can't harvest underwater. And if you can't harvest underwater, that means you pretty well have to harvest from the shoreline. Which means I am participating in in uh, the degradation of the shoreline, and honestly, you know, I'm not entirely happy about that. That that does not really please me. Um, now, much like dirt, when you pick up dirt in your shovel and you 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 you, you know, you can only pick up one. You can't go here and decide. Oh, let's see if I can load more on my shovel. No. You get one. One little lump of sand right there sitting on my shovel. Now, the trick is you put, you basically fill a chest. You don't fill the chest, but you, you load a chest up with sand. Until what? You have ten? And, well, ten at least. It stacks in okay. ten. Okay. And then when, once you do that... You can then take the whole stack out, and you're, you'll have you'll have ten sand in your shovel, ah, okay. and you can then transport that back to the house. So it's a it's kind of a convenience. Uh, oh yeah, that was that thing I was talking about with the being if you're if you're behind down a block here, it's it can be janky to get uh, up. It's really annoying. Now, can you? You can put more, you can transport more if you have a cart to pull behind you, right? I haven't messed with the cart. Oh, yeah, that's a good question, by the way. Oh, under the sand is is dirt. Oh. You can only go one layer down in the sand? Yeah, see, the sand is such a finite resource. Yeah. Um, uh, 
That is going to be uh, that's going to be a problem. I'm not I am not impressed by that. So I'm going to try and start. You know, I don't want to do too much over there. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, that wasn't bad. All right, so just get a bit more. How much have we got in here? Uh, let's get 20. Two stacks. Now, the alternative is to uh, you get pitch as a byproduct of the, of a, the lumber manufacturing and producing. Um, I was discussing it with Pam before, and uh, like I live in an area where there's a lot of pulp and paper mills, and I th and I think that what they call it in the mill is liquor, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, so if if there's actually somebody out there who's watching this that that actually understands the mill pro pulp, the pulp process, how to do pulp and paper processing, um, uh, I might be I might be wrong. So, oh. I, See, By that's... the way, do you have basic crafting too? Uh, probably. Oh, because I need another tallow candle for my kitchen table. Oh, okay, sure. I think I can do that. Uh, let me take a quick boo. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can make that in the crafting table, or is it in the? It's in the wood in the work, work table. Okay, I'll take a look. Uh... Yeah, I just looked. I just looked in the game edges work table. I wanted to put a candle on the oh. oh kitchen table. I just put uh well let me take a look in this one. I don't think it's in here, but while I'm here while I'm in front of it, I was in the carpentry table because I accidentally I wasn't thinking and I put sand in the carpentry table. That's... There's plenty of tallow over here in this chest. Yes. Uh I remember that. So let me just um let me get some mortared pitch going. Or masonry pitch. Good. That's it. Masonry pitch. It takes two tallow to make a candle. It takes two tallow. To make a tallow candle, yeah. Okay. Uh, can I use your crafting table? Yeah. Your workbench? Sure. No, I mean, does the game allow it? Yes, yes. It should allow it. If not, I'll just authorize you to. Okay. By the way, the doors are buggy. Sometimes it de depends on what you've got in your hand as to whether yeah. you can open it or not. And it's not always consistent. Sometimes I can open it when I've got something in my hand, and sometimes I can't when I've got that same thing. Uh. Uh. Alpha. What? Alpha. Al alpha. Yeah. No, I know. I know. I'm Like, when I mention these yeah, things, yeah. I'm more mentioning it just as a interesting so note. I'm not complaining. Know, yeah. I, I don't. I know what buggy software is like. I know that I know what kind of work is required. This is this is the carpentry bit bench. Okay, where's your workbench? Oh, there it is. Yeah, by the front door, Ann. Uh, I I should be able to. Let me take a look. Let me try it. Uh, I'll grab four. No, that's not how you do it. You have to do it like. Okay. And just make just make one candle and then move it so that they don't stack. And you're stuck with two candles. Oh, the whole if stacking you, if gonna, thing. If you're gonna make one, if you're gonna make more than one candle. Okay. All right, candle is on the make. So, and we're gonna sit. We're gonna sit here and we're gonna watch this candle manufactured so that I don't allow it to. I'll pull stack. it into my inventory actually. Yeah. So if it you can pull stack. it into your inventory or move it to public and then it won't stack it only stacks in the private storage thing Ooh. um okay 30 seconds left i love your pink backpack by the way it's not pink oh it's i'm sorry it's red, red. gotcha gotcha it, red. look it's red that's that gotcha. is red gotcha right gotcha god 
Must be my eyes. I have, you know, I have bad eyes. Oh, don't give me that crap. You've been listening to Game Edge. It's not pink, it's red. All right, let's get rid of that. No, not that. Oh. Red and blue outfit. Okay. Oh, see, you got me distracted. And I almost, it almost stacked your candles. Oops. Uh huh. That was, and whose fault would that have been? That would have been mine. That would have been your, exactly. You can't, and you wouldn't be able to blame me. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, So, uh, where do you want the first candle? In here on this table. Oh. You want me to actually place it? You can place it if you want. Oh, I wouldn't mind placing a candle. Let's see. I think I want to put it in my zero, zero, zero. Uh, I don't know if I can. Can't place there. Blocked. Oh, I guess I got it. Damn it. Oh, no, I can place it on the floor, though. Maybe it's because it it might be a permissions thing. Here, let me put it in the, uh, the tallow. Okay. There. And I'll go get the other one because uh, now that you mention it, that's probably in private storage. Yeah. So let me go. Let me let me uh, grab it out of here, and I'll put the I'll put the other candle in the in your uh, in the chest. All right. There you go. Now let's see here. All right. Let's let's now do the candles work? Yes, I'll show you. <gasps> Because that was a hilarious video, by the way. We we were we had a we were having a good time with that recording, <laughs> that that last part where with the with tallow gate or candle gate or whatever people ended up calling it. <laughs> it was it was pretty good. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, can I? Uh... Apparently I can here. I'll just sit on the ta- chair by standing on it. I can't get it to line up on the table. How did Game Edge get it to line up on the chest? Does it say it's blocked or you can't place it there or something like that? Yeah, it says can't place there. Blocked. So it's so it's not just me. It's also you. Okay. All right. Oh, you put it on the ground. Yeah. And one thing we found out about tallow is when you put like when you put like a block of four of them in there, right? If you want to, it's a way you can divide tallow up. You can put put four. You know, I'm I'm making them in blocks of four. You put you put some in there, and then as soon as it lights up, you can pull them back out, and it'll just leave the one behind, which burns for like an hour, and it'll give you like the other three tallow back. Oh. So it only burns for an hour? Well, that's the last count we got. So one dead turkey equals two hours of light? Yeah, they're about. So. But uh, elk, you... elk is a lot more. It's a ton of tallow because. Really? You get elk is. You get tallow when you prepare the meat. You get tallow when you make. Take prepared meat and turn it into sausage or other food. It cooks out tallow. So you can get a lot of tallow out of elk. Which is kind of funny because um, we have elk around here too, and mm-hmm. they, they are not a fatty. Or bison, I'm sorry. Bison. 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 Okay, that makes bison. more sense. Yeah. Because elk are, uh, it's pretty lean. Because see, when I butcher an elk, uh huh, I get... Or bison? Uh, when I but, uh, butcher... Yeah, when I butcher a bison, I get... Um, 20 meat and 8 hide. And then um, when I make prepared meat from from that, I get raw meat. Uh-huh. And then from raw meat, I make prepared meat, and I get tallow. And then when I make raw sausage out of the prepared meat, I get tallow. And then when I cook the sausage, I get tallow. So I get tallow quite a bit. You saw the chest full of tallow. I, I, I did. Oh, um, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna show a trick. I figured out a trick. Okay, uh, let's do this. 
I'm going to show you how the the uh, how you how you dig for stone. Um, let's go. Maybe we'll do. We'll start digging in this direction. Um, uh, this isn't really very awesome. Uh, well, let's just do this. Okay. Uh, so the first thing you do is you break it up with the pick. And oh, hey, oh, I'm getting messages. Oh, more stone complete. It tells me when my stuff is complete. Right, right. It always oh. does. It tells you when your work orders are complete. I never even noticed that, you know. Oh, you didn't notice it? No. There's too much. There's so much going on with this game that I don't. Right. Sometimes I don't notice these things. All right, I'm gonna start this as another room. So I'm gonna go. Big. Oh, this is this is super exciting. Although, if we find something really cool, like the lost civilization behind this wall, then <laughs> it'll be worth there it. There you go. Of course, now, now I'm building it up, though, and, and I'm just setting everybody up for disappointment because I don't think there's a lost civilization. <laughs> Although, um, there are dinosaur bones. I think there's in, there's probably oil. All right. I think there's eventually going to be archaeology, and I know I know there's oil at some point in this game. We haven't seen. I don't think we have seen all the things we can learn yet. No, I I suspect they haven't done everything yet. Right. They're still working on it. So. Well, this is still got a year and a half in development, and we're only on Alpha 5, and Alpha 5 only just put in the big world ecology stuff, so we got a lot more to go, I think. Oh. Well, yeah, when you think back to what uh, Seven Days to Die was like in Alpha 5, just as a, com a comparison, I mean, it's nothing right. like, it, like it is now. Absolutely. Uh there's just so many more features and capabilities, and they've changed so much since then. So um, that sort of gives you a, a quick and dirty um, way to think about, you know, what, what the possibilities are for, for how far they could go and how much work is still required. And, um, you know, there's all the engineering. There's electronic engineering. There's, there's all kinds yeah, of stuff. Yeah. So. And we have bare. I mean, okay, we put the windmill out to run the mill, but we barely touched on what they're talking about with the power grid and everything else. Oh, that's right. I was thinking I might build a um, a water mill. Right. Maybe I'll do that at some point. Up there at the top of the waterfall. I think so. I think that's a good spot for one. I have to say it's not this is not as satisfying to mine as it is in in uh 7 days. It's not it's not. It's it's 7 days is much more satisfying. Cool. So I'm only going to do this for a little bit. I want it but I wanted to demonstrate a little trick uh that I accidentally found out. Cuz the other thing that that people may have noticed, I don't I don't often talk about this stuff when we're doing the multiplayer thing because Quite frankly, you know, there's there's so much conversation going on, and right. and you know, if I start talking about something that only I can see, then really, you know, like anybody watching any other video is not going to know what the hell I'm talking about, and it's not fair. So I, I I generally don't talk about that sort of thing. You'll see me struggle with something, but I won't that's, say anything. That's why I like that we're doing some on our own, yeah, or in small or in smaller groups, yeah. But you'll you'll you will hear me every once in a while do stuff like ah, that, and that's just me getting frustrated because uh, something's not working the way I want it to. Like when you I was got a hole at the top of your stairs here. Do I? Yeah. Now is this brick? That is mortared brick. That is mortared what you're brick, gonna. Okay. That's the stuff that I gave you. Oh, okay. Mortared stone, rather. Mortared stone, yes. Gotcha. What? I'm actually kind of disappointed in how it looks because. I'll be honest with you, it looks like cinder blocks. It does, yeah. And cinder blocks 
are ugly. I'm sorry. Yeah, see right up here at the top of your stairs is a hole. Uh, hang on, let me take a look. What? Where? Right here. I'm looking right at it. Oh, you can't do anything about that. Oh, Sometimes really? uh, that that's solid stone. Sometimes mm. when it's on the edge of right. uh, of something like this, it'll deform. Oh, okay. Yeah, come down and take a look. See all these ones here on the edge? Oh, I see. I yeah, see. they sometimes okay. deform. Okay, I'm going to show a trick. Now, you're not going to be able to see this, Pam, so I'm going to try and describe it as well. Okay. But if I go, if I stand here so I can see both the um, the, the quarry and the bench, the ta or the, the chest, I can open the chest, put something in my shovel, uh, and then just click the, the desktop outside, and then I can... And open the storage, too, at the look, same Open time. the store, go in here, and then just hit tab, put dirt in the thing, click the desktop. Right, you have both open at the same time, right? Yes. Yeah, I think that's cool. I do that with the campfire and the tallow um, chest. Except I didn't know you could do it with a shovel, because I don't use a shovel for tallow. There we go. Oh, and the other thing you see me do sometimes is you'll see, like, this all of a sudden. Uh, no, no, not that. That. No, not that. What? No, now, now I can't get it to do it when I want to. Every once in a while, you see the disconnect quit window come up, and that's because I hit escape or something like that. And it's because I'm used to using key bindings, and this game does not use any key bindings. It's all, like, except for tab to get the mouse, and then it's right. all mouse actions, and then you click the desktop again, or the, the backdrop, to get back to the, uh, to get rid of the, the, the mouse. And so what often happens is you'll be, like, uh, in here like this, and you'll miss the, this little X and if you just click like right here, all of us and you and you see me do this, and then you like go ah, and then uh, yeah, and then you have to hit uh, tab again, and then you have to click the X, and then click the desktop again, and then you're. It's I'm not really happy with the user interface. Um, that part of this game needs some improvement, but you know they're working on it, and I can't help but think that they're gonna you know bring in some key bindings and. And yeah. get all that yeah. stuff sorted out. So right now it's annoying, but you know what? Uh, cry me a river, right? So now is this going to be your kiln kiln room? You're going to have to line the walls with mortar stone. Well, see, that's a good question. Um, I'm going to have to learn about the kiln because I don't know anything about like the ingredients that are required for it. So mm -hmm. you know what I might do. I, it I could pick it up, the right? Ingredients in your well, you can look in your quarry, and it'll tell you what the ingredients are that it, or it goes into making it. No, no, not that. Uh, I want to oh. know what what ingredients it requires to run. I'm gonna place it. Uh. Hit, I, if I place it, I can pick it back up again, right? Right, right. Well, you got a hammer, right? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna look in the kiln. Cool. Uh, That's a cool looking thing. It needs the mortared walls, and it needs fuel. I can build aqueduct, brick. A brick roof, glass, bloomery. Now the bloomery, I believe, is a forge, right? And it's what you do to uh, smelt ore, right? And I can build a tallow lamp. Oh wow! Finally, lamps. I know, right? And it needs tallow and sand. Uh, glass requires sand. Now that makes sense because sand is actually the main ingredient of glass, even right? You know, exactly, because it's silicon. And uh, the brick roof, oh man, it's all pitch and stone. That is, that's super irritating. So basically all of the uh, stone slash brick based manufacturing requires pitch and pitch is all, uh, uh, is all based off of sand. Well, you can make it off of lumber. So we're gonna have to into the lumbering aspect to get a mill up get a uh, sawmill up for the so you can get the stuff to make the pitch if you have a sawmill 
You can make the things to make the pitch and the campfire. True. Then you could just, then you could just run a campfire and just run tons of pitch. And it. and unlike uh, most people, um, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna give my rant about forestry because people are funny about cutting down trees. I right. I don't like cutting down old growth because I think that that's a waste. Um, I think that you know there you do need some old growth forests and those trees are beautiful and. Um, if you can cut down, if you can get away with second or third, cutting down second or third growth, then why not go after second or third growth? Um, so I'm not a big fan of cutting down old growth. I know that you do have to sometimes because there are certain things you can only get from old growth, but it should be really controlled very tightly. But second, third, etc. growth, I have no problems with it. And here's an example, a prime example of why. You can, this is, of course, this is a game, it's, so it's highly accelerated. But I only ever cut trees that this one here, or off to the side here, or up on this little platform, and maybe down on the side over here, like that tree there. I never, I never go over there to cut trees. And yet, and I always pick up my stumps, right? Right, because you have to pick up the stumps for more trees to exactly. grow back. Exactly. And then they, I come back a, a day or two later, and all the trees are back. Now, obviously, this is an extended, uh, like, or accelerated time. Right. But that's how good forestry management works, right? You know, right. You, you, you forest an area, you do it in cut blocks. You, you don't just, like, do clear cuts. Right. Um, you, you're selective about your logging. And I've and got seeds. Always seeds, plant. Seeds, too. We can start tree farms. Uh, see, there you go. And you always and you always replant and you just you know let the trees grow for a while and you harvest and you start the cycle over again. Um, right, I came up here because I want to take a look at where we could put the waterfall, the, the mill, and I think right here. Oh, you went up to the top yeah. of the river. Yeah. See, I think we could put a a, a water wheel here. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? I think so too. So I think that's that's going to be one of my future plans is to build a a, a water wheel. So, anyways, that's my rant about um, uh, forestry. Uh, forestry is not it's not evil. It's properly managed, right? And uh, if properly controlled and done right. correctly. Well, that's. That's the bottom line of this game in all extents and purposes is to teach ecology. It's taught is to teach proper management of our land and our world. In other words, you know, right now we're pretty much taking and not giving back, um, for the most part. Now, if we could get Bish to remember to pull up stumps, we'd all be being good about our, our wood management right now. Bish yeah. is really bad about forgetting to pull up stumps. But um Everybody else is pulling up their stumps, so the trees are regrowing. Um, right now, we are very plentiful with things like wheat. So um, the fact that we don't have anybody um, really immersed in agricultural and or agriculture and growing all this food, but as you look around, you see things are starting to turn brown and die off, and we will need to stop depending on just taking it off of the land and. Um, not regrowing it ourselves. That's why I'm collecting all these seeds when I go out gathering food so that whoever does agriculture can plant all these foods and then we don't have to take it from the land. That reminds me, I'm, I'm going to get a bit more wheat because presumably there's seasons and presum right. presumably um, we're going to lose the ability. So, so I'm going to grab this wheat here. And well, wait, they're gross. Their growth things like wheat doesn't seem to be too bad. Wheat turns brown in patches, but then there's fresh wheat growing. But things like the camas bulbs apparently uh, grow in season in different parts of the world. Like this time, I had to go way out um, east to find the camas bulbs, and I was finding them very easily up north. So. I'm right. not finding them up north at all anymore, but I would, I had to go all the way east to find them. Right. Oh, right. And where was I going to, uh, with that whole s the 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 oh. um, the forestry thing? Sorry, before I forget, because uh, I got distracted as, as much as you as uh, I I'm the one that brought up the wheat thing. So, <laughs> but um, uh, uh, a mill. If I build a sawmill, 
and I generate pitch from wood from a byproduct of a sawmill process, right? Trees grow back. Trees are a right. renewable resource. They'll grow Sand back. Sand is not. Sand is not. Which is why I'm right. so kind of it, it. I'm only harvesting as much sand as I need. User right? joined right. your channel. Oh. Right. Oh, hi, Dred. Hey, Dred. You guys recording? Yeah. Yes, but it's okay. I don't think Ono minds if you say hi. You could say hi. Hello, <laughs> hello people watching Ono's video. <laughs> people of the Ono land. It's just uh, it's just Ono recording. We're just kind of commentating in the background, so he's not alone. Yeah. Oh, cool. What do you guys What are you guys playing? Eco. Eco. Oh, fun. Yeah. So, um, I'm, let me just wrap this up because uh, I think we're done. Uh, we're on another. We I think we we did a twenty four hour cycle or something like that because yeah. I'm now looking at a, a. What is that? Is it a rising sun over your house? It is rising sun. Yep. So there you go. Sun. Anyways, that's my whole end goal if, is to get pitch using the sawmill instead of sand because I think sand is that that's trouble so that's the plan uh, so on yeah, that so we will deplete all the sand the beach does not regrow sand exactly and I'm trying to avoid pulling too much sand up just because of that so so on on right. on that note or Dredd won't have any more beachfront property. <laughs> he'll just have oh, property I'll, 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 He'll have beef beachfront <laughs> property. It'll be right up to his house. <laughs> yeah. You, I, I, my, I'm protected. My, my land's protected. You can't take my sand. <laughs> Is that a challenge? <laughs> no, it's actually protected. <laughs> He's I got could, his deed down on it. But yeah, but uh, you, I could could try. Take, you, could take, you could take the sand right up to where his deed starts. Yep. I could build a little. Oh yeah. yeah. So, anyways, let's. <laughs> I I I think I'm done. So, um, uh, thank you, Pam. You're welcome. Thank you, Dread, for stopping by. Yeah, bye everybody that's watching on this video. <laughs> on that note, we're gonna end it right here, and hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Good night, everybody. Bye bye. Just a quick addendum here. Uh, Pam and Dredd are still here. I, I almost forgot I'm starving, and uh, I had mentioned the campfire stew, so I, I just a little little bit at the end. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna have some campfire stew. Oh yeah, look at that. And then uh, I think nice I'll food, huh? yeah. I'm not gonna. I'll only have one, uh, and then the rest I'll just make up for it with. Um, uh, fruit and stuff like that. I have some wheat in my inventory. Oh, but it, oh, I don't want to eat that. Um, I think I've got some other stuff back in my, uh, my, my, uh, my chest. So I just wanted to, uh, to show you guys that and, uh, that's it. Bye.